All right, we're still talking about graphing linear equations, and now we're going to talk about horizontal and vertical lines. And in this example, we're told to graph x equals 2. So to do this, we find some xy pairs, some ordered pairs, some xy coordinates that are solutions to this equation. And we plot some points, and then we draw on the line. So let's find a solution. Well, 2, 0 is a solution because x equals 2 right there, and that's what we're told, x equals 2. We aren't told that y has to be anything, so y could be any number. So 2, 0 is a solution, and so is the number, or the coordinates 2, 4. The or ordered pair 2, 4 is also a solution because x equals 2. y could be anything, in this case it's 4. But as long as x equals 2, it satisfies that equation, x equals 2. So here are two ordered pairs, let's plot them. 2, 0 is this point right here, that's 2 to the right and 0 up or down. And then the point 2, 4, we go 2 to the right and 4 vertically, so that's this point right here. And you can see that we have a vertical line, and we'll draw it in. Okay, there we go. The graph x equals 2 is a vertical line. Now, there's one thing that confuses people here a lot. My x-axis is horizontal. And so when people see this, x equals 2, they sometimes expect a horizontal line. Well, the x-axis is the horizontal axis, but the graph of x equals 2 is a vertical line because this line is the line on which every single point has an x value of 2. Every single point here is 2 over from the axis, 2 to the right horizontally. So this line is the line that satisfies this equation because the x value of every single point is 2. So the line x equals 2 really is a vertical line. So now let's graph the line y equals negative 1. Well, let's find some points. x could be anything. We could have x is 2 and y is negative 1. Or we could have x is negative 3 and y is negative 1. So if we plot those points, 2, negative 1 puts me there. Or if x is negative 3 and y is negative 1, that puts me there. You can see I get all the points that are 1 below the origin. So this is my solution, or this is the graph. It's a horizontal line at the position y equals negative 1. This position right here on the y-axis is the position y equals negative 1. And this equation is the, is the equation. It, it tells us that y equals negative 1. So this graph is all the points that satisfy that equation, all the points that have a y-coordinate of negative 1. I just picked 2, but I could have picked any number of them. Here I'm told to graph x equals negative 4. And we can just come over here 4 to the left, x equals negative 4. That point has an x coordinate of negative 4. And so does this point, and this point, and this point, and this point. Any point that is 4 to the left has an x coordinate of negative 4. So I can graph this line. And there you go. x equals 4 is a vertical line, and it's a line on which every point has an x-coordinate of negative 4. And if you're catching on, you can graph this, you can do this without even plotting these particular points. Okay, here we're told to graph the line y equals 3.5. The, the numbers here don't have to be integer numbers. 3.5 is the y value, so let's go up on the y-axis to 3.5. That's 1, 2, 3, and 4. So 3.5 will be right there. And this graph will be a horizontal line at that position. And again, some people ask, why is this y, this y equation, giving me a horizontal line? Why is the vertical axis, some people think, shouldn't y be giving me a uh, y equals something be giving me a vertical line. Well, again, think about the points. Pick any point on this line. Let's look right here. 
What are the coordinates of this point? The coordinates are 2, 3.5. It's 2 over and 3.5 up. Or let's pick this point right here. What are the coordinates here? Well, that's negative 3 to the left and 3.5 up. So this is the point negative 3, 3.5. And you see in every case we have a y coordinate of 3.5. And that will be true for every single point on that line. The value for the y, the y coordinate is 3.5. And that's exactly what that equation says. y equals 3.5. So y equals 3.5 is a horizontal line and it's up 3.5 units from the origin.